In this video, I will uh, explain to you how the troubleshooting works in Awingu. Uh, to go to the troubleshooting uh, options, you have to open uh, the system settings and then go to global uh, troubleshoot. This is, of course, uh, step uh, one. And over there, we, we offer you a bunch of uh, tools to uh, do basic troubleshooting. Um, the first set of tools are the tools linked to uh, database uh, backup and uh, restore. So uh, something you need to know is that uh, if you're using a, a single node Awingu appliance with an internal database, uh, you have the possibility to, uh, to create a database uh, snapshot or uh, also there is every night a, a database which is taken automatically. Via the troubleshoot section, you can do a restore of an existing database file or you can create an extra database backup if that would be uh, needed. So the first three options, uh, create uh, backup, eh? that will create an... Uh, a new backup. List backups that will um, show you all the backups which are available on the system. So as you can see, I have for the moment uh, two uh, nightly backups of my uh, of my system, one from uh, uh, yesterday and one from the, the day uh, before. And then there is also the option to do a restore of a database file. Uh, if you would have the database file on, an, uh, on another system, uh, you can use the uh, SFTP upload. Uh, this is something you can configure in the uh, connectivity page. So if you go to global connectivity, uh, there is over here the, the possibility to, uh, to specify an uh, SFTP user, an S SFTP password to, uh, to extract uh, one of those database files or put a new or put an existing database file uh, back onto a, a new appliance. So that's uh, how everything uh, works. And then uh, uh, with the restore backup, you, you could then select your, uh, your file and do a restore of the database. So that's uh, one of the options uh, inside the, the troubleshoot page. Uh, there are also some network tools. So uh, for example, we have uh, DIG, uh, we have TCP scan, we have uh, trace route, uh, we have UDP scan. Uh, uh, those are all uh, network tools that are available uh, for the troubleshooting network issues. So for example, uh, if I would like to check if, uh, if I have a connection to my um, Active Directory and, for example, if my uh, LDAP S port is, uh, is open, I can do a TCP scan uh, on, uh, on one of my systems and uh, click on Execute. And then Awingu will tell me that, uh, in my case, it's, uh, it's open. Uh, important here to, to mention is that, for example, if it would say that it's filtered or blocked, or closed, then of course the, the firewall is, a, is not open. So also, if it says filtered, it means that there is a, there is a network problem that your firewall is not uh, completely configured uh, correct. Um, one of the tools which is most of the time used in, in the troubleshooting is the download logs. So um, if you have a, a technical problem and you're opening a case at Awingu, um, it would be good to already give directly the, the log files. And in many cases, the, the support team will uh, ask for them uh, Anyway, so uh, if you if you want to have the uh, the log files from the the system, go to troubleshoot download uh, logs, and then uh, there are some options. So the, the first one is the the from and the to date. Um, by default, we're taking the the log files from the last uh, week. They, they can become uh, pretty big, so um, maybe it could be a good idea to to restrict them to the last day or maybe the last uh, hour. Uh, just take into account that the, the, the date format is an UTC uh, timing. So it's not your local time, but it's a UTC time, um, which is, uh, which is uh, in my case, for example, one hour um, um, ahead, from, uh, ahead from me. So uh, uh, please make sure that, that you select the, the correct uh, time, uh, time range if you want to uh, restrict it. Um, there, are two, there are two formats. There is a JSON format and there is a, a standard format. Um, maybe just uh, depending on, on what you, uh, what you uh, normally use, uh, you can choose to, to make the output uh, JSON uh, format or a standard uh, line format. Uh, once you have specified the, the time and the range you, you would like to have the log files from, you can click on uh, Execute and then Awingu will start collecting the, uh, the log files. Um, you see that uh, when they are available, uh, you can click here for the download. Um, this will take, again, depending on the, on the system and on the, on the time range, uh, from a few seconds to a few minutes, but whenever they are ready, you will see that uh, after a refresh, uh, this is already the case, uh, they are here, and then you can just download them to your uh, local system and uh, have a look at the log files. Um, there is one last uh, option in the, in the troubleshoot section, and this is the, the log level itself. So by, uh, by default, um, we're only uh, logging uh, warning and uh, error and fatal messages. Um, if for some reason um, the details would not be sufficient in the log files, 
Uh, it could be that uh, Awingu supports asks to increase the, the log file uh, level in here. So this is something you, you can do in here, just uh, change the, the, the level of logging from, uh, from warning to something higher or something lower. Uh, just take into account that uh, if you make it, for example, uh, uh, trace or debug or even info, it will generate a really lot, uh, a lot of log files. So the log files can become very big, very, very fast. So only change the, the log level uh, if, uh, if requested by the uh, support team.